Yo, what's going on everyone? Nelson Chan here from Hoopin' Life. Have you ever dreamt about having the craziest handles like Stephen Curry, Chris Paul, or Kyrie Irving? Well, I can tell you none of those guys were born with it naturally. So we all gotta start at the basic fundamentals of, you guessed it, dribbling. So today we're here to show you the basic fundamentals of dribbling and show you how to improve your ball handling skills. And to assist me with my workouts today, I have my fellow Hooper friend here, Edward Toe. What's up guys? My idol Stephen Curry always wanted crazy handles like them. Yo, that's perfect man. That's why you're here today to work on your game so you can be better than Stephen yeah, Curry. Sure. Yeah, let's do it! So this is the first edition of how to improve your dribbling skills, aka your handles. Beginner's level. Yo, now to teach me how to do sham guy. No man, first you gotta start off with the basic fundamentals. So first off, to get comfortable with dribbling the ball, you're gonna start off with stationary dribbles. So this workout's pretty simple. We're just gonna get in a stance and we're just gonna do stationary dribbles. The key is to do 50 times each hand. So I'm gonna start off with my right hand, do it 50 times, switch over to my left hand. All right, yo, Ed, your turn. Let's see you do it. All right, first, dude, and you gotta keep your head up, man. You gotta look at the defenders, and you gotta have this arm out to protect yourself from the defenders. Be like, not in my house, all right? So keep this arm up, make sure you look up. Not bad, not bad. I got it, this is easy. All right then, well, let me introduce you to a little game. We're gonna test your focus and test your concentration. So we're gonna be playing a game of finger counting. One person's gonna be holding up numbers of fingers in his hands, so the other person's gonna be counting the fingers while dribbling the ball at the same time, while keeping that focus and keeping that concentration. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. Two, one, three, four, two, one, two, three, five. Man, this is hard. Eight, two, six. All right, cool, man, good job. On to the next workout, let's go. All right, so the next workout we're gonna do is movement dribbling. Because in the game, you're gonna have to move and dribble at the same time. So, you're gonna have to move with the wind. Man, what does that even mean? Man, just do the workout. So what Edward's gonna do is, he's gonna dribble the ball and walk up the half court line. So, first off, he's gonna have a high dribble, and when it, once he gets to the free throw line, he's gonna get down and do a low dribble. All right, so remember that game we played with the finger counting and the stationary dribbles? We can apply the same game to this workout as well. Seven, two, three, wrong, six, four, two, four, six, four, six, two, three. Come on, count six. faster. It's too fast. It's too bad, count faster. All right, guys, some of the key points in the dribbling drills is build a foundation of building muscle memory, Keep your head up at all times. The game is above you. The action is in front of you, behind you, all around you. It's not looking down at the floor while dribbling. The third one is keep your off arm up to protect yourself from defenders. Dribbling is all muscle memory, so you're gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of practice and repetition. Some people say shooting is the most important thing in the game. I believe that dribbling is actually more important than shooting because you need to be able to learn how to dribble to create shots for yourself or create shots for other people. Therefore, I believe dribbling is far more important than shooting. You dribble way more times in a game than compared to shooting the basketball. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys liked it, enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Leave in the comments what kind of workouts you guys wanna see from me. Shout out to Edward Toe for coming out and helping me with the workout. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.